Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Acuity Blogspot. I'm your host, Brian Garcia, uh, application engineer with Acuity, and we're going to continue our discussion with managing data and team center. Uh, today's topic is creating review packages, and we're just going to continue the discussion from the last time that we met. And um, before we get started, though, I'd like to point us in a different direction. Let's see here. I just, just want to point out our support website here, uh, the QDInc.com website, the support training FAQ area here. This is where you'll find all of us technical guys if you need to get a hold of us. Um, there's the phone number, 877-228-1750, or you can send us an email at support at acuityinc.com. Um, and also feel free to send us an email if you have any other suggestions for maybe some of these blog demonstrations. Would be happy to accommodate anybody along those, and you can find me there. So uh, uh, without further ado, let's get into the topic at hand here. So again, here's our Team Center interface. If you remember from last time, I'm logging in. Every user's got their own uh, login credentials here, and I'm in a group enroll. I'm an author. And uh, just a quick review. Uh, last time, our topic was engineering change orders, and we released some data. And uh, if, you have, if you don't uh, remember this or miss this one, you can find it here on our blog spot. Just uh, scroll down. Uh, the rest of the crew has been posting things here, too, and, and I'll, I'll be down the, down the list there on our first installment. So uh, the scenario I'm thinking about is, you know, maybe we actually released some data here, you know, and then maybe I want to share this with somebody that maybe is, doesn't have, you know, they're a third party, a partner I've been working with and collaborating with and doing designs over the years, and I've released this data in my system, and now it's ready to share to the world. Um, I can go ahead and create what's called a review package here in Team Center. So, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create this right in my home environment here. Just like before, this is another item type, and it's the review package. And I'm going to go ahead and click the assign, take the next number in order there. And we're going to go a demo review package. Let's go ahead and finish that. Just like we're used to seeing here, you know, it creates a, the main container, and we've got a, a revision, actually, that we can manage this with. So if we kind of need to exchange data a few times with our third party and the people that we're collaborating with, we can do that. So to, to start things off here, just a simple uh, demonstration. I'm going to go ahead. There's some toggles here on the right mouse click. I'm going to make this my active review package. So essentially what that is, is I, I've, you know, defined that review package that's active, and now I can go ahead and search different things, you know, this, you know, maybe I don't send this out for several days, but, you know, as I'm gathering all this information, I can put it into this review package. And so, um, again, just kind of a simple demonstration here. I'm going to come up to one of my revised items here, and I'm going to go ahead and go right mouse click, and I'm going to add that to my review package. All right. So now there it exists. Same, you know, I've linked that in here. So now once, you know, we could put all kinds of data in there, again, just to kind of simplify things and just kind of um, just uh, get, you know, dip our toe here into the review package area. Let's go ahead and, and uh, export this review package. So again, there's some options here. Here's the interface. I've already defined my export directory. And then, you know, we can change the name here. And then I'm actually going to do a zip file of all these. And then, you can know you can just a track you can kind of put someone's name in here I'm just gonna put my name and we're gonna go ahead and export that review package so once that's done we can go and find I've got a folder here and there's that folder zip file I can go ahead and extract all on that and there's my single uh, NX file I'm just gonna double click on that and go ahead and open that in NX. So again, you can imagine, you know, this is something that the zip file I attached to an email, emailed that to a, one of my uh, collaborators, and now, you know, we've got these digital talking papers that we can kind of, you know, kind of go back and forth and roll the revision if we need to. But uh, this is just another way to exchange data with the people that you're working with and kind of another, another benefit and some features in Team Center that I think that you guys will, you could take advantage of. So... Um, again, I appreciate your time and uh, visiting our blog spot. We're always trying to put new information on here. So if there's anything that you guys are interested in, um, go ahead. You can send an email here to that support at Acuity Inc. 
you know, maybe put in the subject blog, uh, blog spot, uh, request or, and then, uh, and, and I'll, you know, we'll all get that and then we can kind of huddle up and, and maybe we can do a one-on-one -on -one session if it's something a little, you know, specific for your company or uh, if it makes sense, we could present it to the whole group here in our, in our blog community. So again, thanks for your time, everybody. Um, please give us a holler if there's anything that comes up, any issues, and we'll, we'll try to mark it off the list here. So again, thanks for your time and we'll see you next time on the Acuity Blogspot. I've been your host, Brian Garcia. Have a great day, everybody.